How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I'm going to be talking about the project demo. I might be pronouncing it wrong the entire video, but that is how I'm going to be pronouncing it in the future. I'm sure I will be making more videos on this project. I will make sure I pronounce it correctly, but this project is pretty cool. Pretty interesting. I did discuss it a little bit in my discord. So if you guys want to learn about some stuff before I make videos on it, please be sure to join the discord. The link is in the description below, but this device is planning to connect to your car's OBD2 sensor, collect data, and you earn based on that data. So I'm gonna talk about all of the specifics, just a general overview, and I'm gonna talk about where you guys can get it. And I also do have a referral link. There is no discount, but the referral link is beneficial for you uh, if you share it with other people, if you have your own referral link. So I will talk about all that. But before we do, please make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. You guys already know the drill. Let's get into the video. All right, so what is Demo? First off, I did the little intro where I said that it is a device that connects into your OBD2 sensor. As of right now, it is very important to note that they are pre-orders and there's only less than a thousand spots left in the pre-orders. You guys already know what the drill was with Bobcat and Helium Miners. Uh, there was a very small window where if you ordered them, you got them at a reasonable amount of time. And now if you were to order them, the wait times are ridiculous. So just keep that in mind. This is something that a lot of people are saying has the potential to be very similar, if not bigger than Helium. One of the big things about this is that it is actually going to be using the Helium network to transmit data. I will get a little bit more into that in the future. But the whole point of Demo is an open source protocol that leverages Web3 technology to connect data producers and consumers. So this is going to be connecting the actual car manufacturers to the data because there's not a lot of real world data out there for cars. So having something like this is going to allow a lot of the car manufacturers to collect data from cars that they don't have a lot of uh, beta testers on and they don't have a lot of people to collect the data on. And then they can use this data to further improve their knowledge and their technology in the actual vehicles. They can also use this data to determine malfunctions and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It goes on forever. You, there are so many possibilities that you can actually use with the data that they are collecting. And that is why Demo is trying to make this initiative to have these devices. So what it does is it plugs into your OBD2 sensor in your car. And there are a majority of cars, I believe after 1984 is when they made that industry standard. So depending on what car you have from 1984 onward, you are good to go. All you have to do is pre-order one of these devices and they are shipping out in spring of 2022. But how do you actually earn? That's the question you're probably asking. And because this is with the Helium network, that does not mean that you're going to be earning Helium HNT. They actually have their own native token that they are yet to launch, but you can actually earn them right now by using referral links. And I have a referral link in the description. If you guys want to use it at no cost to you, I would really appreciate it. But you can earn the demo token by contributing with the data and you earn based on what type of data you give. So there's a couple factors that lead into that. Depending on the type of car you have, for instance, if you have a Tesla versus a 2000 Toyota Camry, uh, you will earn data varying based on that. So for instance, like the Tesla has a lot of different computers in it versus a 2000 Toyota, they probably just have a couple devices. They don't have all these sensors that these new cars have with blind spot monitoring and the self-driving assist. So all of that data, you won't be able to collect on the Toyota. But if you do drive this 2000 Toyota Camry for 500 miles a week, you can earn pretty much the same amount as long as the Tesla, let's say the Tesla drives 100 miles a week. So there is ways to actually counter if you have a car with not as much technology, you can also earn based on the rarity of the car. So I'm gonna go with Toyota again. Let's say I had a 1992 Toyota Supra. It's a pretty very rare and valuable vehicle. If you are going to be collecting data for this because not a lot of manufacturers and companies have data for this car in real world examples, but keep in mind, a lot of these cars are probably going to be modified. So I'm not sure how Demo is actually going to work if you have modified ECUs and stuff like that. I'm not sure how they're going to counter and if that is even allowed. It doesn't actually state whether modified vehicles are allowed to work. Obviously, if you just have modified exterior parts, for instance, with my vehicle, I have like shocks that are new, but none of it is actually connected to the car's electronics, then it should be fine. But with newer cars, sometimes they have a lot of stuff connected, like they'll have electronic shocks and those will be connected to the car 
Um, I'm not sure how that's all going to work. I'm sure they will address it in the future, but I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up on that. And very similar to Helium, this project is actually planning on having a governance where it is community owned. This is very similar to Helium and other projects as of late. So basically you're going to have voting power based on how many tokens you have and you can anybody can propose a project or a uh, change they want for the infrastructure of the system and it can be voted upon and based on how many tokens you have, you get to vote for that much. So it's very similar to Helium in that way. Now, something I'm extremely looking forward to are the NFTs. And most of the time, I think NFTs, in my opinion, are just kind of silly. There's not a lot of use case for them, but these NFTs are functional and functional NFTs will always have a place in my heart. So these functional NFTs, and I believe this is how this is going to work, if anyone knows any more information on this, please feel free to comment down below. And as this will go on, I'm sure I will make more videos on this, but the functional NFTs will give ownership of the vehicle through an NFT. So let's say I have, for instance, once again, a 2000 Toyota Camry, I'm going to get a 2000 Toyota Camry NFT. And I'm sure when you have your VIN number, it'll actually make it even more identifiable. So the user will be able to interact, unlock, drive, give partial or limited ownership or transfer ownership to other people, much like a traditional NFT where you can transfer ownership. So if you sell the car, you can transfer the ownership of the NFT of the car to a different person and effectively delegating control over the car and its connected functionality to the holder in a secure, transparent and programmable manner. So. This is huge if you have a car that doesn't have all of this fancy stuff. I know my personal car does not have, you know, remote start. I can, the only thing I can pretty much do is turn on the hazards and unlock the doors remotely, but I do not have anything like remote start. With the access of the OBD2 port, you're actually going to have a lot more accessibility into your vehicle and you can do a lot more stuff like that. And if you guys don't know what an OBD2 port is, it is a connection in the car, usually underneath the steering wheel, but it can be in the passenger side underneath the glove box and basically you can plug into that and it gives you information on your car so if you have any error codes on your instrument cluster let's say you have a check engine light you are able to check what that actually is in the obd2 scanner if you have a scanner that will actually work hopefully what is going to happen with these specific demo devices is that they are going to be able to access and clear the codes like a traditional scanner thus giving these a lot more functionality than just a device that collects data. You're actually going to be able to interact with your vehicle in a way that most people can't actually do. Most people don't have these devices. And as time goes on, the data that they collect will actually have a price that they can put on it. So in the beginning, let's say my 2000 Toyota Camry is going to have, um, you know, a pretty standard amount of currency that I'm going to be bringing in or the demo token. Let's say I bring 2000 a month and a 2020 Tesla could bring 2000 a month but as time goes on and as they start to see that clearly the Tesla has more rewardable information and more information that can be used to benefit the cars themselves because they can be remotely upgraded versus the 2000 Camry, there's not much going on with the Camry. So based on the type of information that you can provide, you will be rewarded with that. So it depends based on the car you have. As for some additional benefits, uh, if you were to look at electric cars, these are going to be able to monitor the battery drainage. Um, I'm sure in current cars too, that are not electric is going to be able to monitor the miles per gallon and it can determine what is causing this information. They might even be able to in the future uh, with the user input, I'm sure, be allowed to tweak certain things in the car's interface to possibly improve miles per gallon or improve your range. This data can also be used to help with insurance companies, which is going to help them lower rates, hopefully lower rates. But uh, yeah, so it's just, there's a lot of cool stuff going on with this project. I really do advise that you guys read into it and purchase one if you are looking to purchase one. I do have a referral code. And in the case that you do use my referral code, I will receive some demo tokens. So I do appreciate if you guys do it. When you do use the referral code, it will bring you to a website where you can add the car, make a model that you have. And if you would like to, you do not have to, you can add the VIN number and then it, that will in the future give you more information. Like I said, you do not have to add the VIN number now or ever, but if you do add it, Sometime in the future that will give you more information on the car and I'm sure that will also help when you do receive an NFT from them. I'm not sure how that NFTs are going to be distributed if they're free or not based on your car, 
but it will give your car uh, NFT uh, more unique properties because it is linked directly to the car that you have. Just a wrap up, like I said, they are for sale right now on their website for $300 to pre-order. These devices are scheduled to ship in quarter two of 2022. So we're looking at around springtime. They also do have a Twitter and they do have a Discord. If you guys are interested in learning more about the company, you can talk to the people behind it and get more information on them. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please let me know what you guys think of the video quality of this video. I'm trying my DSLR camera right now. This is probably going to be the last video you see with the camera directly here. In the future, it's going to be over here pointed like this way. And that is just because it's going to be easier to actually record videos in the long term. I plan on like making a, a whole bunch of videos this upcoming year. So that's just a little end of video update. If you guys do have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. If you made it this far in the video, I'm going to change it up. Say orange. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. And I hope that this next year is very lucrative for you and for me. Peace out.